I just got back from the Xbox game showcase. I saw it at the movie theater here in Orlando. It was an absolute blast, had a ton of fun, and uh, couldn't wait to get home to talk about all the new Starfield stuff that is coming out. I really enjoyed the Starfield Direct. I think if the game lives up to 50% of what they showed, it's going to be one to remember for the ages. So we got some cool things coming down the pipe from Starfield. First, we have the Starfield Explorers Bundle. Now, this is a Bethesda store exclusive. Uh, it's going to co cost you $175. Uh, does not, does not include the game. But what is it? Well, it is, uh, if you saw the trailer, you saw they featured the robot companion Vasco. Um, and they also had a, one, one of the developers was talking, they had kind of the 3D model of this sitting next to him on the table. So this is the Vasco bundle, basically. Uh, there's only 800 of these worldwide, includes a certificate of authenticity, includes the statue, which sits at uh, about eight and a half, about 8.75 inches in height. Um, and it includes some decal sheets with it from some of the badges, badges that are seen in the game. Um, I think this is a cool statue. Um, Vasco seems like a very interesting companion, the way he was kind of talking and the way they kind of modeled him. Um, it looks like he's standing on some sort of alien terrain, I guess. Um, if you did notice in that developer direct, because I did actually see this before um, the showcase began. Uh, it looks like on the original model, there was more tubing on the back. Looks like they got rid of some of that here, but looks kind of interesting. Uh, humanoid in the sense that it's got very long limbs. Uh, seems like a lot of attention to detail has been put in on kind of his robotic eye and some of the different pieces of tubing and gearing that kind of hold him in place. Some of the springs and gaskets and all that kind of stuff you'll see there. You could see his robotic hands. Um, and then his, um, I guess his energy supply bag pack. I don't know. Uh, it's cool. There's some stickers. I don't think you're buying this for a sticker set. Honestly, I don't even know why they include those. But if you're interested, only 800 of them. Um, I have seen other collector editions in limited run last a little longer than this. I'll be curious to see how fast this sells out. But if you're interested, I will post a link to all of this in the description box below. Most people probably saw and are instead talking about the Starfield Constellation Edition. Now, this is available for both the Xbox and for the PC. Kudos to Microsoft for finally thinking of their PC gaming brethren. Um, I know Bethesda has been doing this for a while. For example, I bought the Fallout 76 Collector Edition uh, on PC. So... $300 though, this does include the game. Let's go ahead and take a look at what you get here. Uh, it includes this um, five days of early access, which interesting, I don't know for people who are adamant fans about this game, you might wanna wait those five days to let the game get out in the wild. There's always that infamous day zero or day one patch that we hear about so often that radically seems to change game performance. But if you just can't wait, this is probably the one for you. Uh, it also includes a really, really unannounced or mentioned uh, story expansion known as Shattered Space. I, I think the core game is going to keep you plenty busy, but they're throwing that in. You're going to get a Constellation skin pack and um, digital soundtrack and digital art book to accompany your purchase. Um, you're also going to get the game. And you're also going to get this watch, which I hope they had a better picture of the watch. I guess not really. Let's open it up in a new tab so we can zoom in a little bit and check it out. Will even let me do that. Um, so yeah, you're getting what they're calling the Starfield Chronomark watch, which is a watch that you're gonna get in the game. Um, it does seem to have functionality with your smartphone. So I believe it'll do push and pull notification. Let's see if the listing says a little bit more about that. Um, does it really talk much more about the watch? Uh, base game, expansion, da, 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 da. Um, yeah, just the case, the watch and the case. Um, interestingly enough, you know, they always try to come up with collector editions and they did mention this in the direct that they do always try to include something that is like a relic of the game. We've seen on the Fall of New Vegas, they had the New, Cal uh, New California Republic helmet. Uh, as I talked about Fallout, Fallout 76, uh, we had the T-51B um, helmet. We've had the Pit Boy from Fallout 4, the Doom Slayer helmet from Doom. 
So when I think Starfield and flying out in outer space, um, I don't know about you, but I don't think about a watch. Um, that's where I think this collector edition misses the mark. It is priced pretty highly, um, considering a lot of people are balking at the PlayStation prices of collector editions. Um, $300 for this one, pretty steep. But if you're interested, um, as I say this with everything, pre-order it, okay? Uh, moving on, let's go ahead and close out. Uh, they also announced some peripherals. They announced a limited uh, edition Starfield controller. Now, this has been making the rounds. It's already been in the wild. I've seen pictures of it on Reddit from my friends over in Italy and in Spain. It's definitely a real thing. So we're actually getting to see it with some nice high quality photos. I love this controller. I do collect Xbox controllers. I will definitely be buying this as part of my collection. Uh, on the back, you have the battery cover, property constellation, and the front actually doubles down as almost a kind of cheat sheet for the game. Now, I bet a lot of you um, may have seen or played um, some other space sims in the past where almost every key on your computer is doing something. Um, this is going to be a very light version of that, but they do include some stuff here. You have basically your ship flying controls, your power distribution control here, your throttle, um, your camera, your data screen, um, your different targets that you would cycle, your lock, your exit, your, you know, RCS is um, remote manual pilot controller, mode group two. This is a very awesome looking, very awesome looking uh, collector controller because it's so different and it's really, it, it doesn't lend itself. There's not a bunch of gaudy Xbox styling on it. They got rid of the color schemes as I always complain about, you know, we don't need to know that B is red for the 7,000th time. We got it. Um, the fact that they removed the colors from here, um, they got the constellation logo there. They got the cool battery cover on the back. You got a nice gold, um, like a gold silver looking D pad and all of the markings. This is one of the cleanest controllers. Actually, they're calling it bronze here. Bronze metallic. Um, definitely one of the cleanest controllers I have seen. I'm super, super, super excited to get this. Uh, it is available right now. I've seen it in the wild. Um, you don't have to pre-order this. You're gonna have a zillion of these. Uh, it's gonna run you 80 bucks. And then lastly, for the Starfield fan who just can't get enough, they are also selling um, their Xbox wireless headsets but a Starfield branded edition of them. Now I've done a separate review on this headset before. I don't own it. I've got to listen to it. Uh, personally, it's not my cup of tea. However, if you've been looking for a headset or you really just want to collect all of the cool Starfield stuff, you may want to check this out because just like the controller, very, very clean looking. Um, and they did the same thing with Starfield. They really cleaned up the details on the side. Now there's not a lot to a headset, right? I mean, really you're just adjusting the volume, but um, the way they write the volume in Max and that clean style that matches the controller, uh, you got the property constellation with their logo scheme there. You have the inlay of the red headband. Um, very, very, very sleek looking headset. Definitely a really, really pretty one. I really like that quite a bit. And that's going to run you $125 US. So lots of good stuff coming out from the Starfield Direct. We didn't dart Starfield Direct. We did not see a limited edition console, um, which I was very surprised about. We did not see a pro controller, which I kind of would have expected maybe an elite skin to make its way into the wild here. Unfortunately, we didn't see that. Um, but there is a lot to choose from here. There is also a digital version. I didn't display it here because there's really nothing to see with it that will allow you to take the base game that you're going to receive quote unquote for free from game pass and get that early day access as well. That's going to run you $30 and that's just a digital code, uh, which you would input, download the base game and then you're good to go. So lots of good stuff. I will post links to all of these in the description box below. Tons of Starfield stuff coming out. I'm excited for this game. I can't wait for it. Uh, can't wait to get that controller. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.